So ever since Apple dropped iOS 18.2 betas, there's been some question and concern over ChatGPT's integration and if this is gonna come at an additional cost for iPhone users. So I wanna set the record straight here today and kinda let you know how this partnership is going to work. And spoiler alert, there is no charge. You don't need a paid plan. You can use it as is on your iPhone for free. When you wanna get into the more complexities of it and want the higher usage, then you would wanna take advantage of it. We'll jump into settings right now and show you exactly how it works. Let's go. So where this whole topic of conversation came from is with the latest iOS 18.2 beta, like we said. And if you jump into settings, Apple intelligence and Siri, and then scroll down to extensions, you see chat, chat GPT is right here. And now it's showing you have a free account unless you have already priorly signed up for it. But it's right here now where there's an option to upgrade to pro or plus. So when you click on this, it gives you a whole splash screen talking about what this does. And you can see here for $20 a month now, you can get five times more messages on GPT-40 and access to even more advanced models, higher limits for photo and file uploads, image generation and web browsing, more natural real-time conversations with chat GPT's advanced voice model. So those are the differentiations between these base plans and the plus plan. If you are not a heavy user or plan to use this a ton, you don't really need to worry about it. And again, as you can see here, it does track it for you and will let you know if you're under limit or not right in settings. But if you need the powerful capabilities of the new plan model, the upgrade could be worth it for you. What's interesting too is if Apple's going to be taking a cut as they traditionally do for these integrations and all of that. And what also is interesting is the whole separate category here for extensions as a whole. There is rumors that they might also be integrating with Google's Gemini here in the very near future as well, which would make sense if there's a whole extensions category for just one option. It's gonna be very interesting and again, very questionable to see if they're gonna offer that paid tier for Gemini Plus and all that in the near future and whatnot there. But for at least now in ChatGPT, this will be rolled out to regular users in December. So that is when we'll get a clear view of how many people are going to take advantage of this Plus model. Again, in its current form, if you're using it here and there and very sporadically, you shouldn't be having any issue with the need to upgrade. It's just going to depend on what your use case is for this. And again, there is that call out right here that does say you'll have access to chat GPT's advanced capabilities until you reach your daily limit. And then it resets every 24 hours. So we have never come close to going over the limit. Uh, again, we haven't really went crazy on it, but we've done searches, visual searches, um, and nothing has triggered any day the need to open up the plus model for $20 a month. But that's just us. Comment down below. Let us know, are you guys gonna be jumping on the bandwagon and buying the plus subscription? 20 bucks is kind of hefty for a subscription for something like this, unless you're going to really get value out of it. That's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.